Well, ho, 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 vinyl community. It's Morten Ostad, and I am, as you can see, back in Denmark. Back in Denmark for the holidays. Three weeks. Um, so what are we doing today? Well, I am picking up on Mike's MGK Boston's Christmas thread. Yes. So, he would like us to spell Santa. So, of course, I am in Denmark and the majority of my record collection, film collection and other stuff, as some of you have followed me a while, know, or I'm in Norway. But I still have some old stuff here and some other stuff um, from when I lived here permanently and some stuff that I... You know, gradually bring down here to try and um, I don't know, free up space up there in uh, in my flat in Oslo. Now, um, so I thought what I do, I'm going to pull a uh, Garage Geek and show uh, more than one type of entertainment. Uh, paraphernalia. Uh, as you can see, I'm uh, wearing a Canadian themed cap uh, as a birthday thing, uh, no, a <laughs> Christmas thing uh, for MGK uh, uh, Boston. Could have worn my Boston cap, of course, but. And I made a Christmas drawing, which I hopefully hope you've already seen, both in my thumbnail and in, um, in the start of the video. I like, uh, I love drawing and I love drawing Santa in <laughs> various weird things. Uh, and I have done so over the year, um, but uh, I think this is my first time, first this year. Um, so, let's start. I am going to show, spell uh, Santa with various forms of media. And I am going to start with some old DVDs. S, The Sixth Sense, Bruce Willis, I hope he's doing well under the circumstances, um, a very suspenseful film, I haven't seen it in quite a while, so don't uh, tell me how, what the plot line is, no, but uh, I thought I'd uh, uh, rewatch this one of these days, so that's the S, A, uh, these were so popular about well, how long ago is this now 23 years ago American Pie the first one yeah three uh, young women there who um, had uh, very divergent careers and career choices um, yeah so there's a fun thing to rewatch maybe um, one of the weirder films I've ever seen you know, with Jack Black! Nacho Libre! Yeah, one to watch. I think this is an. Uh, yeah, I think this is an Scandinavian or European DVD release. And so that was S A N, and then we come to T. And here's a real classic that I actually had down here and wasn't up in Norway. Uh, Jim Carrey, The Truman Show. Always worth a rewatch, in my opinion. And finally, uh, Santa, S-A-N-T-A. -S um, a very dark, sinister film. I thought I'd uh, try and rewatch this. Uh, it is Apt Pupil. Not very Christmas themed at all. But um, Ian McKellen, you know. Mm. Next up, soundtracks. Yes, I have quite a few soundtrack CDs down here in Denmark. Um, so, let's start with the letter S. Scream. It's a soundtrack to the first Scream. Uh, remember the movie poster? Uh, uh, you know, proclaiming that uh, uh, Drew, Marrymore, Drew Barrymore was one of the main characters. 
Yeah, that didn't last long. Uh, next one. Oh, behave. It's Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. A for Austin. Yeah, I know, Austin Powers, but we're, mo movie, we're in movie title territory here. Don't you start, Steve. Um, that was A, S, and that was A, and then N for... This is a really good soundtrack and a harrowing film. Natural Born Killers. A film that I actually own on both Laserdisc and Blu-ray. Yeah, uh, pretty good stuff here. Music uh, from and inspired by Natural Born Killers and Oliver Stone film. Um, yeah, you got your uh, Leonard Cohen, L7, Patti Smith, Cowboy Junkies, uh, Bob Dylan... Um, Nine Inch Nails, uh, Peter Gabriel, yeah, and some rap stuff. I'm not, I don't mention rap stuff. T, one, uh, probably my favorite 90s movie. Yeah, uh, another, um, you know, same writer. Um, True Romance. Christian Slater was so cool back then. Yeah, he's kind of cool still but you know his career didn't stay on track in my opinion but uh yeah we got uh yeah yeah the soundtrack is more of a yeah thing i don't know um i had to go back um to um, uh, <laughs> to austin powers because I didn't have any other soundtracks that started with A. It's Austin Powers, Gold Member, the third one. Um, we got your Rolling Stones, actually. Angie Stone, Smash Mouth, and, you know, these people. Yeah, Britney Spears. You really? Yeah, she was in the film, a small brief part, but I can't remember her music there. So that was soundtracks. And let's... Uh, Get it on. I got my cassette tapes out. Went through them. Um, all of my cassettes. Um, which will be revealed. Why will be revealed later. Uh, let's start with the letter S for Santa. Paul Simon, Graceland. Wonderful, wonderful record. Uh, we got A, accept. Balls to the wall. I was going to show Metal Heart, but someone um, beat me to it. I don't didn't have a cassette uh, with an artist starting with the letter N. So it's a uh, Simple Minds record that uh, has the title New Gold Dream. And it's Tears for Fears. The Hurting. And finally the letter A, ACDC. Blow up your video. From there, I thought I would move on to comics. Yes. We are in garage geek territory. So we start with the letter S. Now, uh, my favorite uh, cartoon in the world is a, Fr a Belgian French comic. Um, the um, comic was uh, the best years were drawn by Andre Franquin, Franquin um, Frenchman. Uh, who, by the way, would have been 100 years old this year. Uh, uh, the comic is called Spirou et Fantasio in French, but in Danish it's called uh, Splint, O Co and company, and in Norwegian Sprint. So it's S all the way. And this is a fairly old copy of uh, Ned me Diktatorn, which means uh, down with the dictator. They go to a fake... Latin American country, where this little fellow is originally from, uh, when they found out that Santa, um, Fantasius, or Quick's um, cousin, uh, has taken over as a dictator in a Latin American country. So yeah, this is one of my f absolute favorite of theirs. Next up, the letter A. Asterix, another wonderful bande, de, bande dessinée, uh, fr French-Belgian comic. Uh, chose this one for the uh, cover. 
Uh, I'm a history buff, and um, I've been watching a lot of um, Time Team and stuff with uh, about Roman excavations and stuff lately. So I thought this would uh, eat in in uniform. Basically, they they uh, sign up for the Roman uh, Roman army, um, basically to get to find someone, and they uh, make their officers cry. Asterix. Yes. Mais oui. Next one, another French comic. Um, this is uh, Natasha and the land of the headhunters. She and her companion are uh, airline hostesses and uh, they solve mysteries and crimes and, and things like that. Uh, so yeah, it's, this is the guy she she works with right there. I used to have a lot of these. I uh, apparently I only had one left. Letter T. Well, I think you can probably guess what that'll be. It's Tintin, Tintin, Coxelesten, which means uh, coal in the cargo, which is a code word for uh, slavery. Um, one of my absolute favorite uh, books, but also um, maybe my favorite cover. I have this one and one other framed. They used to hang over my bed here, um, but I got a very tall bed frame this summer. Uh, so I had to remove them and now they're l lounging down there in my basement. So this is a Danish copy. I have these three times over. I have them in Norwegian uh, and I have them uh, in bound in uh, English copies. I even have some uh, copies in weird languages like Scots. So we can come to the letter A and um, it's Marvel Masterworks Avengers. The Avengers numbers one through 10 by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And even though the Scandinavian and Norse mythology person in me screams every time I see uh, the terrible treatment of Thor, um, I, I still love these old Kirby books. I don't have a lot of these, unfortunately. I used to have a ton of Marvel stuff when I was a kid, but they, um, unbeknownst to me, went into a um, container when I was moving. From there, I thought we'd move on to vinyl. Um, so, S, Sugar Cubes. Here today, tomorrow, next week, their final... No, sorry, their second... Uh, album I would have shown the first one but uh, quite a lot of people in the vinyl community have shown the first one so there's the S we have the letter A Adam and the Ants this is my original from when I was a kid Kings of the Wild Frontier great album uh, probably probably their only really great album as Adam and the Ants. I mean, he, he, he had a hits and stuff later on and stuff, but it was never, you know, that. Uh, then uh, we get to the letter N, and uh, on vinyl down here, I, I don't have any artist that starts with the letter N, so we have a title. So we're going with Bob Dylan and National Skyline. I, um, I have, up until 1991, more or less all of his studio albums on vinyl, and they are here in Denmark. T. Talk Talk. The Color of Spring. Wonderful, wonderful record. Oh, this is just, you know. Yeah. Uh, thought I'd. Um, yeah, I was, that was what I was going to say about Austin Powers. It's a Canadian pretending to be an prove to be uh, something else. Remind you of someone? <laughs> Kidding. Sorry. I hope, hope I'm not stepping on any any New, New England Patriot uh, toes. What? 
No, I don't know. But anyway, uh, here's another Canadian. Hey, look at this. Brian Adams. Sorry. Sorry, eh? Uh, into the fire. Yeah. This is my only Brian Adams on vinyl. I have three on CD or something. I always wonder why I don't get more by Brian Adams. I like Brian Adams. So, that's it, is it? No. I thought I'd do one more little mental cave or uh six sixpence in in the pudding uh we have some laser discs yes so let's begin this was the last laser disc that i ever bought um yeah yeah it is the last one i ever bought and the reason i got it on laser disc because i already transitioned to dvds at this stage but um the DVD that was coming out apparently wasn't very good in the beginning and the sound, surround sound on this one is actually better. It's uh, Star Wars. The Phantom Menace. And it's uh, Japanese. This was the only, um, um, apparently, you know, the, 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 the uh, pre prequels were never released on Laserdisc, except in Japan. Uh, and, I, and I only think this one ever was. And another cool thing, it comes with a Laserdisc Obi Strip. A Japanese Laserdisc Obi Strip. And it's a beautiful copy. I actually watched this on Laserdisc not that long ago. I have a Blu-ray copy of this. I, I, you know, I watched this film uh, two or three days after the world premiere in, um, was it Longview or Kalama? Um, it's twin a twin town uh, just north of the border from Oregon in South Washington when I was staying with a friend. And um, so, yeah, so I actually, I still have my plastic Pepsi cup from from that showing with uh, this uh, with you know Anakin with his uh, with his speeder helmet or whatever you call it. So yeah, and then we get the letter A once again. Love 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 this film. Uh, I urge you to watch it if you have the means to do so. This is a Billy Wilder film. It's uh, Avanti with uh, Jack Lemmon, who I is one of my biggest film heroes my dad and i would watch everything with jack lemon you know jack lemon uh woody allen danny k we, we love watching these uh, maybe i'll show my my um mus musical laser disc collection one day so yeah this is um this is a really great copy so it's amazing that this was released on laser disc i mean this was not one of the you know the big uh, Bill Wilder hits, but it's it's a it's a great film. It takes place in Italy. Uh, morally questionable, uh, great film. A letter N. Um, since it's Christmas, I decided to show my National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation laser disc. Will you look at that? And I still think this. Laserdisc has a better picture quality than the subsequent uh, DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, but apparently this is a 4K version out now and I really want it, but it's pretty expensive. But yeah, best Christmas movie ever, in my opinion. So that was N, and then we have T. And there's another film uh, that uh, never came out on... I don't think it... Uh, yeah, in Europe it did, but I didn't think it's never come out on DVD or Blu-ray because James Cameron is busy and doesn't. But apparently now it's finally coming out on 4K. Not sure if they're coming. Uh, you know, the Abyss uh, and um, the Terminator films and stuff. But he's finally releasing True Lies, and this is I love True Lies. This 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 is good. Uh, based on a French movie. Um, Anyway, 
I think I'll watch this again now. And finally, not as a Christmas film, but I suppose it sort of lends itself to the time of year. An American Tale, Fievel Goes West. Look at this beauty. I mean, the universal uh, laser disc were just fantastic. You know, they all had the same design. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. So, MGK Boston. Everyone in the vinyl community, thank you for watching. Uh, please, please have a wonderful Christmas. Enjoy yourself. Uh, treat yourselves. Take care of each other or whoever you have to take care of. Be nice to pets. Uh, everything. Um, Gu Yun from Morten in Skagen this time, Denmark. Take care. Bye.